Video Sports presents A History, The Bell Game. The Battle for the Bell. The Bell, the traveling trophy and symbol of rivalry between the Valley's two oldest secondary schools. The Bell was donated by a local church in 1968. Its ringing no longer draws parishioners to Sunday service, but to serve as a ringing reminder of who wins the annual grudge match between Victor Valley and Apple Valley High Schools. So let's go back and set the stage to 2004. Victor Valley was poised to make history. No Jackrabbit team had lost the bell game in a century. By that meaning, Victor Valley had won four consecutive years beginning in 2000. The 2004 win would mark the first time either team won five straight. But that was not to be the case. Apple Valley unleashed Mojave River League sprint champion Greg Johnson, who had the best game of his career, 245 yards rushing, three touchdowns. The 26-6 win before a Newton T. Bass Stadium crowd of 5,000. The 2005 matchup brought 5,000 fans to Ray Moore Stadium in Victorville, where the home team Jackrabbits and visiting Sun Devils entered the game with one and one record. After a scoreless first period, the second quarter began, it was like all helmets broke loose. The Jackrabbits struck first and quickly in the second stanza. Behind a solid wall of protection, senior quarterback Bramanier Courtney slung sidearm to junior Brandon Shanklin in the end zone, and the Rabbits jumped on top 7 to nothing. The scoring play was from 8 yards out. Bell game drama was nothing new to this coach. Leland Udy played in the Bell game in 1970. He had led the Rabbits to their four straight wins coming into last season's battle. Apple Valley responded to Victor Valley's TD less than one minute later. Wide receiver Corey Johnson broke two tackles on the slant pattern and gabbled into the end zone from 30 yards out. The extra point tied the game at seven and the Sun Devils did not trail again. Armando Nunez drills this scoring pass from five yards out to Greg Gilmore for the go-ahead touchdown. The unsuccessful conversion left the Sun Devils ahead by six. Gilmore's 38-yard field goal with five and a half minutes left proved the game winner. With time running out, Tyrone Rudd took this pass from Branimer Courtney and scored from eight yards out. 21 seconds remained. For Coach Frank Police and the Sun Devils, the 16-14 victory and back-to-back -back wins made it 24 Bell Game Triumphs. Looking back in high desert sports history, the Bell Game, Victor Valley's last rivalry game win, 2010. The Sun Devils scored on their first play from scrimmage. Ben Kiros hits Kavian Fournoy on a crossing pattern, and the 6'1 senior takes it 64 yards. The Jackrabbits immediately took the wind from the Sun Devils' sails. Zeke Julian connects with Trevon Bedard for 81 yards. On the next play, Jordan Watson drives in from two yards out. The Sun Devils respond with a scoring drive capped by Jermaine Lowe's 16-yard run. Isaiah Kepley's 40-yard field goal pulls the visiting Rabbits closer. It's Apple Valley 14, Victor Valley 10 to end the first quarter. In the second quarter, Jack Rabbit's special teams make two huge plays. Apple Valley tries a field goal from long distance, but the play backfires. Zeke Julian takes the kick inside the five and zigzags his way 98 yards to put the Rabbits on top for the first time in this 42nd battle for the bell. Quarterback Kiros scrambles in from six out, and the Sun Devils are back on top, 21-17, with 30 seconds to go before the half. Here's the second of the two special teams, special plays, that virtually make the difference in the ball game. Apple Valley kicks away from Isaiah Kepley, but that doesn't cut it if kick coverage collapses. Travian Bedard breaks two tackles and runs the kickoff back 98 yards for a touchdown. And it was Bedard again, scoring the fourth Victor Valley touchdown, the 21-yard scoring play from Zeke Julian. The Victor Valley lead is 10 in the third quarter. The Jackrabbits hold on the final 38-30.
Tyler Murphy leads the 2011 Sun Devils in regaining the bell in the longest standing rivalry game between Victor Valley schools. Victor Valley could not contain the Sun Devils junior running back. The 5'8", 155-pound Tyler Murphy rushes for 297 yards. This touchdown, the first of the game from 23 yards. It was a night of near-perfect execution for Ben Kiros. This is the second Sun Devils touchdown. Roman Novell on the 32-yard scoring play, first of two scoring passes to the 5'10 receiver. The second from 14 yards out. Kiros connects with Tyler Basket who gets behind the Jackrabbits cornerback for this 21-yard scoring play. Tyler Murphy follows the path plowed by the likes of 59 Anthony Ballinger, 56 Jacob Tizard, 61 Matthew Hajazan, and 68 Troy Bacon. Murphy capped off his incredible performance with a six-yard touchdown in the third quarter. The final score, 51-6 in 2011's 43rd Battle for the Bell. Sun Devils standout running back Tyler Murphy leads Apple Valley to a 2012 victory in Bell Game 44. The senior running back rushes for 217 yards, including a 69 yard touchdown. This long jaunt comes eight minutes into the first quarter and puts Apple Valley ahead to stay. Murphy's ball carrying heroics give him over 500 yards rushing in his two Bell games. He carried for 297 yards against the Crosstown Rivals his junior season. This night's 217 yards come on 17 carry. Aeem Thomas spearheads Apple Valley's defense with a pass interception and a fumble recovery. The Jackrabbits score on their first possession. Sophomore Josh Woods capping the 80-yard drive scoring from nine yards out. A botched extra point attempt leaves the score at 6-0. Sophomore quarterback Eric Turner scores the second Victor Valley touchdown, a two-yard run in the fourth pulling within one at 13-12, but again the Sun Devils thwart the extra point attempt. This earlier field goal attempt is blocked by Jacob Munoz as Apple Valley special teams turn in game-changing plays. The blocked field goal leads to Apple Valley extending the lead on their own field goal in the first quarter. A fourth quarter, Justin Connor touchdown pass to Brian Fuentes clinches the Sun Devils win, making it two straight in what becomes their historic spring of consecutive Bell Game victories. The Bell Game 2013, and one of the most exciting down to the last series, down to the wire, or perhaps up to the Belfry, contests in the history of the crosstown rivalry between Victor Valley's Jackrabbits and the Apple Valley Sun Devils. Apple Valley's D'Angelo Guillory scored the winning touchdown with four and a half minutes remaining in the ball game in the Sun Devils' 13-6 victory. Let's go to 2014, another Bell game decided by a touchdown or less. Senior running back Christian McNatt powered, plowed, bowled, and barreled his way over Victor Valley defenders in leading the Sun Devils to a 35-28 victory in the battle for the Bell. The 47th annual Bell Game, featured by the Great American Rivalry series, which shines the spotlight on top high school football rivalries across the nation. Christian McNatt scored two touchdowns and rushed for 109 yards and was named Most Valuable Player by the Great American Rivalry Series. The battle for the bell was a classic struggle between two long-standing rivals played before a near-capacity crowd of high-energy fans, both sides of Raymore Stadium. This is the fifth bell game in the last seven decided by a touchdown or less. Apple Valley's triumph tied the mark for one school recording five consecutive Bell game victories.
After falling behind 21-7 in the second quarter, Apple Valley came back behind a balanced offensive attack that marked a breakthrough game for junior quarterback Mossy Bell. It was Bell's touchdown pass to Kai Merchant that brought Apple Valley to within seven at halftime. And another Mossy Bell to Kai Merchant touchdown pass puts the Sun Devils ahead to stay in the third quarter. The final score, Apple Valley 35, Victor Valley 28. The dazzling pass reception by T.J. Lewis gives Apple Valley the winning touchdown in the 48th battle for the bell. The scoring pass from Mossy Bell with five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. The Sun Devils defense then denies the Jackrabbits a fourth and goal at the two to hold on for the 29-22 bell game victory. The Jackrabbits had taken the lead on Justin Ortiz's 15-yard touchdown pass to Desmond Kepley at the three-minute mark in the third quarter. The Sun Devils' successful conversion following the T.J. Lewis TD reception, Seth Baker diving into the end zone, gives Apple Valley their final two points, and the Sun Devils become the first team to win six consecutive Battle for the Bell games in the Great American Rivalry Series. This 2017 Bell game marked the first time in the 48-year series that the Sun Devils and Jackrabbits both enter the Cross Valley rivalry undefeated. Charles Logan takes the opening kickoff at the 14 and races 86 yards past the Jackrabbit sidelines. Apple Valley takes the lead on the first play of the game. 13 seconds in, 7-0 Apple Valley. Justin Ortiz to Gabriel Trujillo, and the Jackrabbits are on the board. And Ortiz to Andy Garcia, two-point conversion pulls Victor Valley within 10, 18-8. Justin Ortiz beats the pass rush and lofts it to 6-2 senior Damian Kepley, who's glided behind a pair of defenders and pulls down the scoring pass. The extra point gives Victor Valley the lead, 22-21. Mossy Bell rolls to his right. Devin Fisher, 57, picks off stunting linebacker Jaime Campos. T.J. Lewis turns on the stop-and-go route, grabs the ball, loses the handle, regains control, and turns the play into Bell game history. The final, Apple Valley 29, Victor Valley 22. It goes down as one of the most exciting games in Battle for the Bell history. In addition to six straight, it is 11 wins in the last 13 Bell games for the Sun Devils. The Apple Valley Sun Devils scored twice in 16 seconds in the third quarter en route to a 57-12 Bell game victory over Victor Valley. Kishan Griffin's kickoff return for a touchdown, followed by Seth Baker's interception and 75-yard return, putting the game well out of reach in the 49th edition of the Battle for the Bell. The Sun Devils score the first three times they get their hands on the ball to open the contest. Donovan Ferguson breaks the ice on a 10-yard run. Jeff Widener's six-yard touchdown pass to tight end Kai Merchant, the Sun Devils' second possession. Donovan Williams' 65-yard run makes it a three-touchdown lead 21-0 early in the second quarter. 14 seconds to go before halftime. Jeff Widener lost the touchdown pass to Kashan Griffin on the 28-yard scoring play that makes it 28 nothing at the intermission. Jeff Widener also has a 17-yard scoring pass to Xander Witt. The final touchdown of the game comes on the third touchdown of the night by Kashan Griffin. Late game razzle-dazzle on the wide receiver reverse. The eventual 57-12 win is Apple Valley's seventh consecutive Bell game victory. 
For Sun Devil senior quarterback Jeff Widener, number nine, the number eight figures heavily into tonight's grand scheme of things. For Jeff Widener, eight scoring passes on the night. The first Jeff Widener TD pass is caught by Chad Smith, a 51-yard scoring play. Chad Smith's first of two touchdown receptions. The first of two touchdown receptions for super sophomore wide receiver Tyron Smith caps the Sun Devils' first quarter explosion of five touchdowns in four minutes. For Jeff Widener, 25 completions in 33 attempts, 463 yards and eight scoring passes. The final in Bell Game 50, 76-21, Sun Devils. J. Max Denegal throws four scoring passes as Apple Valley runs its Bell Game win streak to nine. Victor Valley takes the field one and two on the year, ranked 21 in the Max Pratt Division Nine poll. Apple Valley ranked sixth in Division Six, three and zero coming in. J. Max Denegal to Tyron Smith, and it is seven nothing. Sun Devils just under seven minutes in. This sustained drive carries into the outset of the second quarter from the six Great American Rivalry Series MVP Kenyard Edwards Jr. with the second Sun Devils touchdown. Following recovery of an onside kick, Apple Valley scores again, a four-minute penalty-infested drive that ends with J. Max Denegal to Jeremy Justice II, the play covering 41 yards. Kenyard Edwards Jr. enters the end zone standing up. The two-point conversion makes it 21 to nothing, with just under seven minutes remaining before halftime. Kenyard Edwards Jr. scoring his second touchdown of the night, bowling over a final defender and carrying into the end zones. This is the only touchdown in the third quarter. Fourth and goal at the one. J. Max Denegal rolls out left this time. Jacob Soria with the catch in the end zone. For J. Max Denegal, 10 of 16 passes for 180 yards in his first bell game. The Sun Devils win a ninth consecutive bell game and now leads in bell game victories 36 to 15. Jaden Max Denegal throws four touchdown passes and scrambles for a seven yard jaunt to the end zone in Apple Valley's 59 to nothing victory over Victor Valley in the 52nd battle for the bell. The Sun Devils first team offense scores on every possession throughout and coach Kyle Godfrey's defense records the seventh shutout in bell game history. Jack Rabbit's coach Jeff Vanover throws everything he has at the vaunted Sun Devils defense. Military analogy, World War II's Battle of the Bulge. Or biblical analogy, Corinthians Jones is David facing Apple Valley's Goliath-like defense. Corinthians Jones repeatedly demonstrates why he was named a Daily Press preseason impact player to watch. But Apple Valley has four players with that distinction. Defensive leaders, linebackers, Dustin Reynolds, four, and Gavin Hambrick, ten, and two offensive stars who tower above the competition. Six, seven, 340 pound blindside tackle Raymond Polito, 79, and Jaden Max Denegal, the 6'5, 224 pound quarterback and future Michigan Wolverine who receives the Great American Rivalry Series Most Valuable Player Award. There has never been a victory as big as the 59 to nothing shutout. This is the seventh shutout in Bell Game history and the first in the 21st century. The triumph, the tenth in succession for the Sun Devils the in this Great American Coming Rivalry the Series. Devils, four, Neither rain nor fleet defenders nor Victor Valley home field advantage derail Apple Valley retaining the bell in the 53rd rivalry game between the Sun Devils and Jackrabbits. Noah Seeley throws four touchdown passes in the 48-6 triumph. Apple Valley erupts for three touchdowns in the last three minutes of the first quarter to build a 28-0 lead. Aiden Sanchez's first carry of the game is a memorable one. The touchdown from three yards out for the 5'10", 215-pound junior. 
Brooklyn Grijalva kicks the first of her four first quarter extra points, and it's seven to nothing Sun Devils four minutes in. From midfield, Noah Seeley finds Jacob Wilkerson all alone in his downfield route and lofts the touchdown pass to the junior wide receiver. 14 to nothing at the 538 mark of the first quarter, and the route is on. Noah Seeley opens the next possession, firing to Jacob Wilkerson, who eludes one defender and sprints 35 yards for the second Sun Devils score. Very next time the Sun Devils get their hands on the ball, Noah Seeley delivers one of his best thrown passes of the night. Xavier Salazar makes the catch in stride and races to the end zone. It's 21 to nothing. This is Jaira Lupepetela scoring the fifth touchdown, plowing in standing up from six yards out. The Sun Devils close out the first half in dramatic manner. Noah Seeley tosses to a wide open Cameron Martinez Ortega, who eludes Victor Valle's last line of defenders. Cameron Martinez Ortega, one of eight Sun Devils to score touchdowns as Apple Valley makes it 11 consecutive victories in this 53rd Battle for the Bell. Battle for the Bell action highlights served up and delivered by Down Home Grill. Start your day with a Down Home Grill cinnamon roll with bacon served every morning from 6 until noon. Also, happening now at Down Home Grill, smoked beer can chicken specials served with mashed potatoes, roasted vegetables, hatch chili biscuit, and dessert. Nutritious and mm, delicious. Call 760-241-4663 for delivery. drive through, pickup, or ordering ahead for dine-in at Down Home Grill, 12120 Ridgecrest Road, the corner of Ridgecrest Road and Bear Valley Road in Victorville.